canon. A definitive term turned subjective due to horrible writers with lazy or ill intent. Some media is so bad that one basically has to consider it as a non-canon dookie attempt at fan service. And the recent Suicide Squad game is probably the biggest example I've ever seen only being rivaled by Disney Star Wars. Everyone has been talking about the horrible moments of Suicide Squad, and you know, I'm somewhat of an Arkham fan myself. I've given it some very deep analysis videos and stated that it tonked on Insomniac Spider-Man in many aspects, such as cool Batman stuff instead of crappy knocking down toolboxes, spider rock throwing gone full Rambo stealth, but anyway. I loved Arkham and its deep philosophical themes such as fate and the concept of deciding to persevere in the face of tribulations that won't change or to throw in the towel and lash out against this world, that won't change. The deepest themes I just mentioned were mostly in Arkham Origins and Arkham Knight, you could bite me, but anyway, now they disgraced it. But I'm not as heartbroken as others are about it because I'll obviously make the call of not considering it canon. Now, I know there'll be some nerd emojis bitching and saying, Oh, but actually, it officially is. What you say doesn't matter. Well, those are the people who should eat Tide Pods. Those are consumed product shills with no backbone. They're just complacent cucks who will accept anything that's put out, regardless of it making zero sense or the media not being made with good intent. Rather with ill intent. Facts like the main Rocksteady director leaving the company when Suicide Squad was being made. And of course a disgrace of Batman's death to the hands of Harley Quinn, who we previously one-shotted in past games, where she used to look sexy. We also have the disgrace of other Justice League members except for Wonder Woman for certain reasons you could guess. We have the horrible cannon-breaking race swap of Deadshot that happened in the middle of a continuity via the old Deadshot being a fake, which means Batman and Hugo Strange were dumbasses that fell for the fake. This has got to be the worst race swap I've ever heard of along with the game having other progressive shit show story moments. I mask my insecurities with drink and bad behavior. Oh. I'm not going to waste time on this crap product for now, but you get the point. One must make the judgment call. I've heard of people dismissing canon with the Insomniac Spider-Man games that came after the first one such as the shit show of the second game that I gave an hour's worth of videos roasting via three videos. I've heard people say that the franchise ended with the first game and that it all went downhill with the face change and I can't really disagree with that. Not that I'm too invested as I've always found this franchise to be overrated from the very beginning despite the first game being decent. But yeah, I'm honestly not invested enough to care about Insomniac anymore. I just make videos on it to laugh and make a bunch of jokes. This isn't the first Spider-Man story where one must ignore canon. As decent-ish as No Way Home was, one basically has to consider that as alternate canon because there's no way I'm going to accept that all those Spider-Man villains never died on top of a few other inconsistencies. Don't even get me started on Spider-Man comics or Marvel comics as a whole, but various shit like a cut Spider-Man, a gay Wolverine or Iceman, and... And a shemale mystique. Do you guys really want to envision 19 inches of mystique? Gosh. A Catholic like Nightcrawler was now born through that. Like, dude. But anyway, we have the worst example of this. Disney Star Wars. They partially killed canon by decanonizing a large number of stories, even though George Lucas approved of the Force Unleashed and had creative input into what they were doing, but whatever. Beyond the great shit they decanonized, Disney replaced it with shit that was too bad to be canon. You've already heard the various rant on their shitty trilogy and its inconsistencies. People have like one to three hour videos on it already that I couldn't even endure fully watching, so I won't bother repeating most of it, along with Kenobi, which may crap on canon even more than those sequels, or Pando Lando. Don't even get me started on the cope cuck defenders of Disney Star Wars or the nerds I mocked earlier that would still say, Oh, but actually, it is canon despite these horrible lore breaks. That might be the worst thing I've ever seen in fiction. Like, I can't imagine these fools looking like 
anything that isn't the Soy Jack meme. But yeah, they muddled canon so badly that even the Clone Wars TV series itself gets a little damaged by it via crappy continuations. There's some decent enough exceptions in Star Wars like Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, Ant Andor, or Rogue One, but those pieces of serviceable media gets drowned by their majority output of crap. Similar to what I said about Insomniac Spider-Man, I've seen Star Wars fans having to treat the third season of Mandalorian as non-canon, or if I go back to Marvel where people say the MCU was done after Endgame, but to be honest, I never found the MCU to be that deep or significant, even before Endgame, despite some exceptions, but whatever, I better stop before I piss myself off too much. The state of modern media is quite sad if we're now at the point where we basically have to make the canons in our heads due to the crap shows that happen with the main three, Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. Hell, even my beloved Megamind has a sequel of some sort that looks too dooky to entertain watching, let alone calling canon. It even managed to mess up continuity when it only had one movie to keep track of, but Oh well, I guess there's enough good media from the past to watch and make videos on, but anyway, don't just make your own canon though. Should you ever get the chance of being a father, make your children's canon. Don't expose them to crap you know that isn't good for them, like Star Wars movies that have lost their philosophical themes that George Lucas placed to teach them about morality, and then they just replace that with Panda Lando and a slew of other crap. Don't expose them to woke shit show games like Insomniac Spider-Man 2 and its wall of weird flags along with Sushi Squad. There's past Batman games they could play or any other Spider-Man game. Don't be some consumer, be conscious for the greater good of the world you live in. But anyway, that's about it. Check out my other videos that expand on a few of these topics and check out my media and my link tree. But yeah. Thanks for watching.